doing, Neil? Hey, buddy, what's up? Nothing. Uh, last week I was coming to you from Studio New York City. This week I'm coming to you from Studio Isolation. Yeah, Studio, you're freaking sick, man. I'm telling you, it's crazy, huh? Got, yeah. the, got the fucking Ronas. Got it the took Ronas. A, it took a while, everybody, but uh, fully vaccinated. Took a COVID test this morning because I was feeling kind of shitty. And uh, for those that can't see, that's like a bad, that's a bad test right there. So do you like put that in your fucking front yard so everybody stays away? Yeah, this is let better. This is can, better. Let me see if I can adjust this fucking camera a little bit. Give you a little for bit those that are uh, listening later on. That's a positive COVID uh, test. So that I'm really stick that... fucking sucks, but whatever. So I'm going to stick that in my front yard. You know what? I think this is better than an ADT sign, quite frankly. <laughs> you you will not get solicitors. I will guarantee you that. <laughs> Nobody's going to come. You will not get my... solicitors. Yeah. Knock on my knock on my door with that. Yeah, yeah. So it sucks, man. I've been on the road a lot for the last 20 months and on the road again as soon as I could and uh, dodged it until now. So it's uh, I'm. I'm I've got lots of family with us in our house right now since it's Christmas time. Uh, so sticking around, sticking close to this bedroom. You know how much family I got at home? None. Oliver. None. That's all you I got, bro. Oliver. That's all I got, bro. That's I'd come good. take care. I'd come take care of you if you're sick. Uh, do you want me to come take care of you? Dude, I got like I, I got like a week off in the firehouse. I'll come fly out and I'll take care of you. And that might not, might not be bad. But I do that a, for you, here's, bro. Here's the silver lining. So researchers have uh, have been looking into this a little bit more. And if you're fully vaccinated and get a breakthrough uh, positive, uh, the researchers are saying that that is a, uh, you will have what they're calling super immunity. So I'm just a because couple of days away. It? I'm a couple of days away from super immunity after this. Or after you get over it, you'll have super immunity. Correct. Correct. Oh, but you didn't have it beforehand. If you had super immunity beforehand, we wouldn't be talking here from your bedroom, but it's all good. You got pants on, right? That's up. That's the nice thing about doing these things virtually. You'll never know. All right, because I ain't got none, so it's all good. I was gonna say, you're. I can't see the bottom half of your shirt. What's oh, your shirt oh, say oh, today? Oh, okay. Oh, uh, the shirt of the day is, uh, to hell with the mountains. Show me your bush. <laughs> sorry, sorry, folks. I'm a '70s bush guy. I've heard that. I know it is what it is, man. The, the bigger, the better, right? Oh yeah, I think I got a belt buckle that says that. The bigger, the better. And it's not. It's not about you. It's, <laughs> it's about not her. about me, right? It's all good. Yeah, it's all good. And I have to. I I actually uh, misread the shirt, as most people probably do. And I thought it was about beer, first. Oh, uh, it, it kind of is. And so uh, it, it's all in how you interpret it, right? And so I thought it was yes. about beer. It it's was a about play on words, and, and, I, and I did not agree with it. And uh, having no now the opposite meaning of it okay. contrary to what this face looks like still don't agree with it so you don't agree with the shirt because of what it represents or because of the bush beer it represents uh both categories i hope you don't defriend me i hope you don't yeah. defriend me off the face pages because i like it'd be, bush. Kind, of, it'd be kind of it'd be kind of awkward to uh try to ask you to do this live stream if we were no longer friends on well Facebook. you can literally how defriend how me and we wouldn't do a live stream it's because really yeah so because of your because your of my anti, your, your anti cool is light t-shirt is that why yeah. is that why is that's, that's that a yeah that's light final, shirt? okay that's hey man straw. right on man okay all now, right i got you whatever, i got you this, got week, you this week when we're no longer friends you'll know where that where it ended <laughs> that, that cruise light, that's yeah cool. or it's because yeah, you died cruise... of the coronas and yeah well there's that too no i suppose i should start like there's this thing out there where people who die if they don't share their passwords with people put their passwords in their will that's turning into an issue as you move things more online but uh okay so eric what have i told you from day one if anything happens to me hit f9 on the fucking computer that's all i ask for that's all i kill ask it. for kill, kill it, it. Now. that's all i want so yeah that actually makes sense just yeah. kill it yeah maybe yeah. uh i also have heard that the younger generation like the for all of their faults those young kids out there listen to this that younger generation the 20 to 25 year old generation or so they're we getting wills they are. Of, we're get, they're getting wills and stuff at a faster rate than everybody else apparently they are not planning to live long but what the fuck do they got they ain't got shit they got they got a uh, college debt is what they got 
Don't pass that but, shit along to me. No. Nope. No, we're gonna we're gonna you that. you you earn that, you pay it. Hey, did you see the news? Uh, I've just been <laughs> hey. scrolling the news this morning about uh do you see this fire? It's Christmas time, people are waiting for presents. This fire that's burning down in North Carolina this morning overnight. No, I have no. I, I watched the I, news, uh, but I didn't see nothing about it. Yeah, QVC distribution center went up in flames. Like a 1.3 million square foot distribution center is really like going to be completely gone. Because, dude, get this: there's no hydrants around it. They've got like 35 <sighs> fire departments pulling in tankers to try to fight a 1.3 million square foot warehouse fire so with, I, with water tankers. Okay, so it's not sprinklered either. Uh, hard to tell. I don't know what happened. I mean, if it was well, if it was well, sprinklered, something happened that overran. If there's it. a if there's no hydrants, holy shit! Yeah, well, I mean, sucks. you could see you could see the smoke plume on the weather radar for hundreds of so, miles away. So no bash on QVC. So a 1.3 million square foot facility burned up. What's that product worth? A couple hundred bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest. Trust know, me. I've seen the shit I, my grandma used to get from QVC, and it's like, really? You pay ever, that much for this? Yeah. All I ever think of anymore when I think of QVC is uh, that Shark Tank lady, Lori, Lori Grenier, because that's where she made her fortune is selling stuff on QVC. Dude, do you remember that time we were watching Shark Tank and bought those fucking neck cushions off that lady as we were watching fucking shark tank do you remember that i still got mine was that were the uh were, oh those blow up ones yes those, yeah yes. with the hood so you can yes. actually cover up your face so nobody bothers you dude, dude. i think we've got a picture somewhere <laughs> of, of like that we also bought like the ostrich pillows do you remember those when you're buying those oh, yeah, like you put your yeah, hands yeah. in and with the hood yeah. and lay down in yeah and, yeah, yeah all kinds it's all of good crazy stuff so that stuff is not going to make it by Christmas time. If you live on the East no, Coast, it, I'm sorry, sorry, but anything you've bought in, from QVC, QVC is not but, going out the door. But people that buy from QVC are more than likely hoarders. So go through your fucking house and you can probably find a gift for somebody. Really? <laughs> right. Yeah, uh, so. That production facility or that packaging facility, uh, it is... Oh, packages over 300,000 packages a day. Well, so, dude. yeah, that's, that's, that's crazy. Well, what, well, what about the, you know, let's talk about the tornadoes that just happened in the middle of the freaking December, but that Amazon warehouse that got destroyed oh, right. in Edwardsville, man. I mean, that's crazy. Right. That's some Amazon, crazy shit. Amazon, Amazon a week ago, QVC this week. I think Mother Nature is telling us that we need to go back to our roots of Christmas time and actually just be with family and friends. Let's uh, let's get uh, real yeah. serious uh, with it for a yeah. moment. Like, yeah. hey, hey, America, maybe you've gone a little over commercialized. We're gonna just destroy your distribution center. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And that's what it is, man. It's more about getting, you know, just like you know, a couple of weeks ago, we came out and uh, seen you guys for Thanksgiving, man. That that was that was awesome. That was yeah. awesome. I mean, I'll be honest, the oh. uh, the saddest part about being sick and stuck in this bedroom right now is actually that I couldn't see Olivia. I know that people are going to be like, oh, why am I <sighs> time your river? But I've been I've been gone for the last few days. I wanted to come home and be able to, like, see her for a moment. But nope, yeah, here we are, separated yep. in the bedroom. Yeah, but you had to go out and get yourself the goddamn Ronas. So. I know, stupid. Yeah. Stupid. Crazy, crazy. Oh, well. well oh, uh, so. Drink uh, more orange you... juice. Vitamin C's. Well, we were talking before we came on uh, that as long as I don't cough too bad, I'm going to be okay. But just as everybody knows, everybody's been sick in their life. How the fuck so do you not cough? Breathing through my nose. So honestly, through this whole thing, I haven't gotten stuffed up yet because I'm really working on breathing through my nose. Anyway, that's a whole, I digress. We'll talk more about that later. <laughs> uh, that's but, actually on another fucking webcast. So we'll talk about, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah. Uh, but as you know, the moment that I realized I wasn't feeling great is when this sounded pretty tasty. A bottle of ginger, ginger ale. Well, okay, so the best ginger ales, and I don't know, but, you know, I'm from Chicago, grew up in Chicago. It was fucking Canfields. Ginger ale was the fucking bomb. That's what I'm asking for for Christmas. My mom just asked me what I should, what, any and last salty minute crackers. Christmas presents. Salting crackers, crackers are the best. I mean, when you're not feeling great, salting crackers and ginger ale or salting crackers and 7-Up, I mean, 
That was the recipe. Okay, when I was so a kid. I actually talked about this yesterday when I was on duty. Do you remember? Oh, way back when uh, there was a. Uh, it wasn't a TikTok challenge. This was actually a I'm a grown ass man challenge about um, <laughs> can you eat six saltine crackers in a minute? Do you remember yes, that? Yes, I do. And do you remember somebody stomped up and down? I can do it. I can do it. Couldn't do it. He got five. He couldn't do it. Yeah. Yeah. I funny. may. I'm. I may or may not have a, a, a video <laughs> of one of our, our fellow firefighter brothers uh, trying the cinnamon dragon challenge. If you remember that one, dude, I still got that video. Yeah. Yeah. I still got uh, that video. That one was a, uh, for those that don't know that one, that one is a, a tablespoon of cinnamon. And the reason why it's called, <laughs> let's try to eat it. <laughs> the reason why it's called the cinnamon dragon is because as it dries up your throat and everything else, you cough it back up and it's the puff that comes out through your nose. It makes it like the dragon. And yeah, it was dragon. crazy. So, uh, that yeah, I've got to do that. I still have now, that video. So, I, I must say, in full disclosure here, I was part of some of these, uh, some of these, uh, challenges as well. Um, where, uh, if I remember correctly, the thing was see how many pieces of bubble gum. Oh, shit. One time. I so, wish, I wish I had pictures of that. <laughs> so these were like the bubble bubblegum balls, right? They weren't yeah, like balls. just to just to make sure people know what they're what uh, what what we're talking about. It's the like the colorful balls of bubblegum, but they weren't and the little ones like little marbles. They were like the one inch the, size, like the normal size balls a, of bubblegum, a freaking man size gumball. <laughs> yeah. And dude, I sat there at the table at Station Twenty One, shoving those in and shoving those in like a chipmunk, just seeing how much I could put in. And golly, I think I was up to like twenty four, twenty five, twenty six of those suckers at one, at one point. Oh uh, yeah, on. yeah. But you know who fucking beat you? I don't remember. I remember being the champ. Oh, I remember. I remember to make them softer and to fit in your mouth. You fuckers were like microwaving them to make them softer so you can fit more in there. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah Surprised you about, guys didn't choke, and it's all good. It's all about winning. You have to win. I know, I know, whatever it I takes. Know, know. Whatever it takes. So whenever I, I tell people that I'm not all that competitive, I think back to that bubblegum challenge, and I was like, well, <laughs> oh, oh no, except in no, this no. case. Oh, oh, no, wait a minute. What about the I can bench press more than you challenge? I did not take part because my arms would but break. You, but you remember that, right? Oh, I feel like I'm everybody not... fucking shuffled down to the weight room to see who can bench press more. I feel like I may or may not have been an instigator of that one. I mean, <laughs> oh, no, crazy. you can't beat that guy, you can't do yeah, it exactly. So, no, uh, yeah, those were uh, those were some fun challenges, and I'm sure that there oh, yeah. was elsewhere. I saw a uh, I saw a dear chief, no one was more surprised than uh, than me, Instagram meme this week. Uh, it was a young kid who was driving a uh, a water tender to a call and slipped it down into the uh, median of the interstate. Just roll, it, didn't roll it or anything. Just drove it off. But then there's a tow truck pulling the pull the fire truck out of the out of the ditch. And the meme was, "Dear Chief, no one was more surprised than than I when." And that was the picture of the tank of the. Oh, truck. the old Dear Chief letter. Oh yeah. The Dear Chief. Everybody knows that Dear too. Chief. Um, Dear Chief, no, and it always starts out the same. Dear Chief, no yeah. one was more surprised than I. Uh, so. I wrote a couple of those in my day uh, <laughs> when we ran over one of our flashlights with the rig, uh, our box lights with the rig, and then uh, you guys decided to turn it into a potato powered flashlight. Oh, yeah, how, yeah. Well, it, it, it worked though, it did because there's, there's an endless that. supply of there's an endless supply of potatoes, and potatoes are cheaper than batteries. Right. And I mean, yeah. when I dropped that off with the letter to the chief's office, we didn't get in trouble or anything. In fact, he probably uh, gave us uh, commendations for our, our ingenuity. Commendations so. or shit happens. And yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's, uh, so, yeah. You know, there's so much, so much uh, stuff that goes on. And, you know, if you damage or something that's, you know, more than $25, you have to write a letter and do this and it's like ah, well you know what that scba eh, that's really only worth about 10 bucks to me 
So yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's all it's, good. Uh, hey, it- so who? Yeah, so your your outlook on what shit costs is different than mine, right? You know, it has yeah, different so, value to anybody. Ah, you know that pumper we crashed. Ah, you know, I don't know. We'll think about. We'll think about right dollars. Now. Yeah. As we go back, bucks. as we go back that house, and we're fucking pounding, fucking dance out and shit. But yeah, <laughs> that's never happened. That's never happened. So yeah, don't so, no get so their say, undies no. in a bunch. Yeah, don't we no take get their undies care. in a bunch. We take good care of it. Uh, firefighters wow. really do take care of their shit. We actually it's really washed, do for as much. As, no, for as no, much really. Work uh, for as much work as firefighters do, and how intense the work is, people really should actually take good pride in know, knowing that the equipment is well taken care of. Otherwise, it would be breaking every day. And I mean, and and you said it, it. It's pride. I mean, I am proud. You know, to drive in a you know right front seat of that pumper, I am proud of it. I mean that. I mean that. That's my bread and butter there. So yeah, right. and people yeah. need to realize that we do take pride in what yep. we do, and the shit's always clean because we're always on display. To be honest with you, mm-hmm. and the shit's got to look good. Yeah, I, yeah. I I don't have a problem with that. I am proud of what I do and what I you know what I you know ride along in. Yeah, and so yeah. are the guys I work with. So absolutely, and that's instilled from leadership. And that's one thing I always took mm-hmm. in to heart too was that number one, we don't actually own any of this stuff. It was all bought for us by the taxpayers, so it's all their yeah. stuff. So we, yeah. we got to make sure we take care of it for them. Uh, and then always making the right choice. And sometimes those are not as easy as you would think. Uh, and it was, and it goes down to the really simple stuff like, should we fuel the truck up or not? You know, which one's the right choice? A ship all does right. not fuel the truck up. Okay. Let's be honest. A shift doesn't fuel a truck up. Yeah, we're, sorry, we're, A shift. Uh, it's the truth. I found some B shift and C shift memes since I have no alliance. <laughs> no, anymore. no, you didn't. I have no the, allegiance. The only B shift memes you probably were found like B shift the shit and we're awesome and all that. But yeah, <laughs> I have no hey, allegiance. I'm, so I'm, you, a, I'm a wild card. I can somebody, come after anybody. Somebody had made a comment on the post that you know we were talking up B shift and. They're like, oh, this and this and this. And I'm like, the only reason why B-Shift is cool now is because the cool cats left A-Shift to go to B-Shift. <laughs> there you go. They all got it's all good. Over there. Yeah, we bounced over here. It's all good. So, yeah. No. Uh, but, 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 but no, regardless, we do, we do take pride in what we have. And we understand that's not ours, but that's ours to take care of. And yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah, it's Just a good like feeling that, that that everybody kind of feels the same way. Well, it's so. the, the commonality, right? I mean, because the fire service has such different people in it. Uh, even though a firefighter is a firefighter the world round, uh, there are... Is that still... a play on words? Because a pound... Oh, remember this? A pound is a pound a world around. Remember right. that during school yep. visits? Yeah, yep. a pound is a yep. pound a world around. No and it's the same fuck with idea fire. what that means, but yeah. <laughs> and it's the same with firefighters. I mean, I can walk into any <laughs> firehouse across the country and be like, all right, well, uh, that's Jim, that's Bobby, that's Neil, that's Kurt. You know, I can go oh, right yeah, down oh, the yeah. list just from oh, yeah. the personalities. Yeah. And be yeah. like, I can yeah. find those personalities across the, across yeah. the country. And so, uh, but that that taking care of our the citizens and our stuff and our equipment is truly that that common denominator in the fire service, which is pretty neat. Is that if you can yeah. lead with that, lead with that. I mean, everybody loves what they do they take care of their stuff and yeah and it shows it shows so get this i was a obvious as a new york last week uh for those that didn't see watch it again the statue of liberty's in the back oh i wish i had that little playback machine and i would have just like played a little video clip but we're not that we're we, not that advanced yet so we probably uh, got to get together to finish the, to figure this shit out <laughs> like how to do a replay I'm gonna yeah. maybe I should ask for like a soundboard for Christmas so I can put my little sounds in the soundboard for dude. For we that. talked about that. The we 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 can get like a yeah, but I just don't know how to incorporate it in because I told you before I had that fucking mixing board and microphone, couldn't figure it out, got rid of it, got this thing, best thing ever. So great mic. <laughs> so yeah, FD FDY, man, they have a different ball game going on out there. Uh, first of all, I walked past the firehouse. This was up in, uh, this was up in the Bronx and walked past the firehouse. They had a ladder and an engine out of it, uh, accommodation house. And they had 13 cars parked around that firehouse for those two apparatus, 13. 
Well, so, I mean, yeah, but they, they got seven. like like six on a ladder though, don't they? So they're rolling six on the engine, seven well, on a ladder or so. But yeah, but they do fucking work. I mean, if well, you're a fucking to, ladder company, this. you're doing fucking ladder work. So I have, I, I, so the, that the next morning there was a fire up in that area, and I was reading reading about the fire, and it was a structure, uh, a single family home dwelling, uh, that was on fire, and then had carried over exposures into two neighboring houses. Okay, so technically, I guess at that point, three uh, three structures on fire. Okay, they ran it up to a fourth alarm for for that, and that and they probably had two hundred firefighters there. It brought in over 200 yeah. firefighters yeah. to that fire. Yeah. Them fuckers like, work. Holy, 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 no. I mean, per, capa- per capita, you guys are doing more work. If you guys yeah. had that fire in, <laughs> yeah, in, in the fire department you're on, you'd have 17 people yeah. there. Yeah. And guess what? So, you'd be busting your ass. So, so what I thought was neat, because, I mean, I'm a nerd. I watch those big city fires and the command. And what and what they talk about, and I know the incident command systems like, you know, you got Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, Division One, Division Two, II, Division Three, and what New York did or does or whatever, they're like side one, side okay, two, good. side three, side four. Here you go. Hey, ladder, such and such, I need you to set the stick up side two. Copy side two. Hey, ladder, ladder, such and such, I got fucking shit going on. I got fucking sirens. I got people jumping out of buildings. I need you to uh, set up on side B. Was that side D? No, B, B. No, D, D. Really? Mm, Interesting. Bravo, Delta in the shit. One. Two, three, four. How difficult is that? Oh, well, now you're fucking up divisions and groups. Then change your fucking tactics. Right. If it's a single story fucking building, one, two, three, four. Sure. Because seriously, I mean, it gets, I mean, in the heat of the fucking moment, you yeah. only hear certain shit. That's what we're, we are so task focused just as mm-hmm. humans that we only hear what we really want to hear on the radio. And then we don't have headsets. If we're on the head, you know, we're just listening to the shitty radio system. They don't, don't work. And it gets yep. confusing. Sure. So does. I'm just saying, I just watched it and it was it, one, two, three, four side two. Well, you can't really can, uh, you know, mess up side two with, am I on B D what, you know, so, yeah. Yeah, I thought that's uh, yeah, pretty interesting. It, so it is. So what do you suppose? So, I mean, for the metro we worked in, we'd have to call basically every on duty firefighter for every city around us to get 200 of us there. Oh, and you still wouldn't get it. And I don't think you still would. I mean, so that begs no, my question. No, really. is what are you, what, what, so if you're watching those shows, what are they doing with 200 firefighters on scene? Well, uh, you've been there numerous times. Why don't you ask, and then let us know? I think because it's gonna be, it's I'm about, sure I'm, they're I'm very they're, they're, they're literally it. all ready to work. Oh, right. You don't I get mean, called with something and not be ready to work. Or I mean, have you correct. seen some of them fires though? In like the brown, the three, four story brownstones, that fucking shits. So I just think maybe they just go through crews yep. fast enough. Yeah, and I get it for the high they, rise fires downtown yeah. right i it, mean that makes a lot of sense i mean you well, need that I mean, you need I mean, that kind of personnel i mean not even look look at that one in boston it was a three-story brownstone they did like a fourth or fifth alarm they had over 200 fucking firemen there yeah. what the fuck just just bakes like an oven inside yeah I mean, yeah so yeah crazy crazy yeah and so then you've got a 1.3 million square foot warehouse in rural tennis or rural north carolina burden and they've got 30 and fire then, departments on scene and i bet they don't have 200 firefighters on it Oh no! Oh, they got With, twenty, right? I mean, yeah, because they're rolling. They're rolling two, maybe three on a truck. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if it, they're lucky, no, they got no, six. yeah. So, That's crazy. Just That's crazy. Just inter- just interesting to me to see how different parts of the country operate so differently in the fire service. So, yep. And that's yeah. uh, and it really is different. It has to be different tactics, right? 
I mean, because the buildings are different, the level of staffing is different. I and, mean, and, 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 and yeah, so the buildings are different. And uh, I throw kudo, kudos out to our uh, fire prevention bureau because fuck, man, all our buildings are fucking sprinklered. You know, so yeah. you see this shit, the strip malls that are burning, and this, this is like, well, fuck, everyone by us is fucking sprinklered. So at least it'll keep that shit in check till we get there. Right. So that's that's man, kudos, and, kudos. Yeah, man. and I and I would it agree. Really, it, it really makes a difference when you know what you're going to. Oh, for really sure. Does. I mean, it really catches me off guard uh, going around from jurisdiction to jurisdiction, seeing how many places still have not embraced the sprinkler system. I mean, it's amazing. You are in a high hazard occupancy, high hazard building, and no kind of fire protection systems at all. Yeah, and, I know. I that's mean, that's literally saving you right or you know the the business owner or whatever but yeah yeah that's crazy that's crazy no uh-huh. it's, it's 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 that nuts. just goes to show how different different parts of the world are so it does it does yeah. and so uh sweden i'm gonna watch this segue sweden Sweden, and sweden and needs uh they needs to put a fire protection system on their favorite sacred christmas festival they need to, they need but they're to. not going to. Is that what that means? Right. Uh, so <laughs> apparently in a small town north of, uh, let's see here, Sweden's most endangered Christmas decorations are burnt again. So um, a oh, town so they that, did burn already. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, a town wow. that's about 100 miles north of Stockholm uh, builds goats uh, in their town square. Every Christmas builds what goats, Go- goats, goats. Yes. Uh, if you have children listening to this podcast, is a good time to stop playing the podcast. I have no idea what you're talking about, bro. That's fine. I'm, I'm hold bear with me right now. Okay. This is the warning. If you have kids watching or listening to the podcast, don't uh, hit mute. Don't turn it <laughs> off or turn it off. But uh, the goats apparently predate santa claus as far as bringing presents uh, to the kids and so they build these great big straw goats in their town square to uh, like an animal goat presents. is that what you're yeah, talking yeah, about like big like okay. a big ram head okay uh, goat. Hey, dude yeah. yeah okay and these things are literally like three and four stories tall uh but because they're seen as a pagan item rather than being part of the oh. christmas story people take to burning them that's why burn the goat and burn the goats down burn the goats up i guess because they don't burn down and so the last this year they burned the goats the last time they burned the goats was 2016 and they've burned them every couple of years and so uh, so just yeah, people are sp- burning the goats yeah they need to sprinkle those goats yeah okay i don't know that's probably kind of interesting yeah I'm trying to find well, weekly headlines we to talk about uh, about fire and <laughs> what, what got going on. Yeah. So this week it was the uh, QVC QVC warehouse and burning of goats. And yeah, and yeah, burning of goats. Not, so. Yeah, not not real goats for those. Okay, that are coming All back right. online. I'm tracking the, the, the straw. Yeah, I, I, I had no idea where you were going with that. So, hey, did you? Uh, I saw you're in the Midwest. You guys had. Uh, uh, de- number two derecho uh, is that what you're talking about? number two yeah der- yeah so nobody has ever heard this fucking word i been, i'm i am 21 years old and i've never heard of the word derecho ish i'm 21 years old ish and i've never heard of the word fucking derecho in my entire 21 year life Two years, twi- twice is the fucking duration. And since really. you turned nine, since you turned nineteen, you've heard it twice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. So yeah, we've been through two durations. Yeah, and I saw, I'm, I saw oh, like some and, r- rain. It looked like you were in the middle of a hurricane, dude. I know. I mean, oh, dude, yeah, they, yeah, they classify some of that shit. So was it? Ah, fuck, no, yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna say that because I'm not sure, but. That shit was blowing fucking sideways. Sorry, Oliver wants to get in the fucking picture. So, sorry. Right. Animals are allowed. I know. I know. Old, I know. Is, he just uh, wants to give me kisses. Uh, He's so going to be 11 on Friday. So, so everybody. Year old, and Neil got him when he was 10. Uh, yeah. And I met, met so, him at the fire. And I met him at the firehouse with the young Neil. Uh, Neil yep. got hired very, very young. 
But that little puppy, <laughs> that little puppy, I mean, he's got to be about what? He stands what? Eight inches tall, 12 inches tall? Uh, maybe. He's all of eight pounds, and he's he the best dog pounds. ever. And he's uh, the best dog ever. At one point, that dude, that little dude had a, a I remember a leather collar with studded oh, he, spikes off he, of it. Oh, yeah. He still got it. He's got a rogue weight belt collar now, though, because he's he's a tough guy. He's, he's tough looking guy. at you with lots of love. Is he hungry? Oh, uh, you know he's been chewing on the bone, so he probably just want kisses. But I won't, I won't kiss the yeah. dog in front of the camera. At you know, you keep so. that in the private. Yeah, keep it in the private. I'll keep that on the down low. So yeah. So what the fuck were we talking about just now? The derecho number two. Oh, derecho. So, dude, I I fucking called it, man. I should be like the fucking new weather guy. I was like, that's not derecho. How can you have storms from border to border going all the way across and not call it derecho? It's a so fucking they, derecho whether you like it or not. And then so did they come out and call that. Yeah, Iowa had their second derecho. I'm like, fuck you, fuckers. I called it. So, so. How is your neighborhood? Too affect too badly affected or not too bad? Uh not at all. Yeah. 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 No, really. I think I had like one plastic container up against the fucking house. So yeah. So we were lucky and hey, some some people got fucked up and yep. my, you know, thoughts are, you know, you know, whatever for you guys. Sorry about that, man. But yeah, yeah. we dodged a bullet. And I'm not gonna yeah. say we didn't. We dodged a bullet again. Yeah, my town, uh, it again. our neighborhood dodged one too, because the day before uh, we had, or maybe it was the same day, I don't know, but the day before in Colorado here, we had, they just had one unconfirmed gust. It was unconfirmed when I saw it. I don't know if they've actually confirmed it or not, of 185 miles an hour up in the mountains, uh, uh, which we're not, we're not up there, but it, yeah. it uh, down here in our town, we were forecasted at uh, sustained 40 with gusts of between 60 and yeah. 80. And uh, I wasn't home. I was on the road. But Olivia was back home, and she said that really we we dodged it as well. Uh, but oh, I saw yeah. videos. Oh. I saw videos of semi trucks literally getting dumped yeah. over on the interstate. Yeah, here. I we mean, literally float, float on their we, side. Yeah, we literally dodged a bullet. And I'm not. Hey, that's fine. That just means everybody's safe. Right. Yeah. yeah. I'm not trying to be out there to be a fucking hero. As long as everybody's safe, everybody did their job. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Just uh, just crazy. Crazy. What I was no. talking with my parents. My parents live down in Florida. Uh, I was talking with them. Uh, they said they're outside raking leaves today because it's a nice fall day in Florida now that it's the middle of December. Uh, <laughs> raking leaves from what? The palm trees? How do you want to rake leaves in Florida? All right. So okay. I said, well, I it's want a nice pictures bright... of that. I said, it's a nice, bright, sunshiny day here, but we don't have any snow yet, which is starting to become an issue. I mean, even the high mountains from here, we can see that they're still hey, not snow covered. You can keep that snow there. I don't want no snow. I don't want it either. But at some point, I live in Colorado at 6,000 feet. I should probably have some snow, snow on the ground. Uh, and they were like, oh, that's good news. We don't have any snow down here either. I said, thank God, Florida is still Florida. I mean, if, I mean, if, all, if the Midwest is getting tornadoes, 80 degrees in, in December, and Florida has snow, then the world's really messing up. But yeah, exactly. Not right now. Not not today, folks. Not today. Florida is still Florida. So okay. Down there. Well, Florida is still Florida. So. You just got to deal with the florida people then they're all the like old yeah. hillbillies there's truly some hillbillies in florida there is uh here try this try this this is a, a trivia this is a trivia item i learned this uh i learned this from a floridian so there's got to be some truth to it florida is the only state that becomes further south the further north you go the the what so say that again so, yeah, Florida is the only state that becomes further south the more north you go. Is that because of the winter and the way the earth rotates and all that? No, what the fuck's uh, that all about? It's about it's about the people. So you got Miami. Oh, that's all. <laughs> I thought you were actually trying to be scientific about this shit. Nope, nope. Because it's a yesterday, because yesterday I learned that the International Space Station only orbits around the Earth. At 212 miles above the Earth, so you could actually be in a point in the Pacific Ocean, in the middle of fucking nowhere, and be closer to people on the space station than people on Earth. That's cool. Does that makes sense. 
Yeah. No, it's fu- I call him fucking bullshit, but I this dude, this cool. dude that I work with, I'm not going to mention any names. Is he trustworthy? Uh, no. 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 I'm not no. saying sure worthy. Trust I'll, trust him with, I'll trust him with my life. I ain't trust him with no motherfucking trivia about sciences. Nor yeah. money, nor your wife, right? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> And I ain't got none of that, so it don't matter. <laughs> so definitely not with trivia. <laughs> right. Yeah, definitely not. Yeah. Definitely right, not with trivia. Right. 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 Right on, man. Well, Good what's deal. uh what's on hold for on tap for next week? So next Saturday is Christmas. Uh oh, okay. So I mean, I don't know how much longer before face pages kicks us off, but um it's been a couple of years because I just it's just been difficult for me, but I'm actually, or we and me are actually going to have our Polish dinner at the firehouse on Christmas Eve. Really? Yep. I'm making my That's pierogies. Awesome. We'll have Polish sausages. So, yeah. So, none of the guys I work with now have ever experienced it, but yeah. That's what? what's going on now. That's a big deal. That's a big I know. deal that you're going to do and that And nobody really seems to think it's a big deal, but when I make a fucking Polish dinner, it's a fucking big deal. So yeah, yeah. I hope that uh, I hope that they come around and enjoy it as much as as we did because I always I looked forward to that and I mean yeah. heck when you're here for Thanksgiving we still made uh, the famous Neil's mashed potatoes yes know? exactly 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 so we'll still have the you know well they're actually grandma's famous mashed potatoes but yeah right. yeah so I'll make the you know two three four five six dozen pierogies for uh yeah so no well, that sounds fantastic. You know what? It's time. You know what? It's actually uh, time to live life. Heck yes. It is. Yep. I mean, we're not getting any younger. It's time to live. No, we're going to be turning 22 soon. Exactly. Oh, fuck, man. End of the fucking world right there. Right. Shit, I might have to, at 22, I might have to get a bank account. <laughs> right. <laughs> I can't trust Start Venmo establishing no credit. <laughs> I, can't, I can't trust Venmo. I might have to get a bank account. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So so you're on and, duty next. You're on duty on Christmas. Yes. Yes. Right. On. No. Well, Christmas Eve. No Friday. Christmas Eve. Friday. Off Christmas Day, but we're gonna do the Polish dinner, and we always did that at, at my grandma's. Christmas Eve sure. was always the big holiday. We always did Christmas Eve. So yeah, I'm gonna do Christmas Eve. Yeah, Maybe do, I'll uh, even find out how she did her Hawaiian salad, and I'll make her Hawaiian salad too. Oh man. <laughs> I'm in isolation. You can't do that. I, I know. Well, yeah, for 14 days. So yeah, we'll see. We'll yeah. see how long that says. CDC, yeah. <laughs> CDC says 10 from the first day of symptoms. Yeah. So now I'm counting yeah. backwards from. from okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Good deal. Good deal. Yeah. So yeah, it'll, it'll be a good time. I love the guys I work with, you know, we're that cohesive, cohesive team and yeah, good. It, it's great. Good. We Good. we just might not always see eye to eye all the time, but everyone knows the deal. Well, that's everyone all that matters, knows. right? Yeah. Uh, speaking of, let's see here. This oh man, did I do I still? I think I deleted it at the last minute, which would be too bad. Oh well, I will have to pull that up another day. Okay. Well, there's next, always next show. Well, always so next we need week. To talk, well, so there's next week because Saturday is actually Christmas Day. Yep. So, do you want to do it Sunday? Are you on duty on Sunday? Fuck, I don't know. I get a look. I thought. I don't know, man. Uh, what's 25? No, I'm off. No. Be, oh, no. 26? You have to be working Shit. on 26. I am. So, when do you want to do it? Yeah. We'll figure that uh, out. We'll figure it out. If I'm still in isolation, okay. it doesn't really matter. Yeah. I'll be in well, yeah. I'll be in we'll, studio bed studio bedroom by yeah. myself. So yeah, so. studio bedroom. So we'll figure it out. Because we don't want to leave all the fans hanging. Yeah. Ooh, what's gonna happen? Yeah, we don't want to leave them hanging. So we'll come up. We'll all, come, all all three of them. We don't want to leave we'll, them hanging. We'll so. we'll show up for you. Yeah. All three I know that hanging. I'm I know uh, listen, everybody. I know I've been slow to get things up on the social medias, but uh I've got some time right now. I've got some time to okay, work on that today. Because I was going to say, all you have to do is tell me what the fuck to do, and I can do it. I'm just not as savvy as you are, but it is what gonna it is, get, man. I'm going to get you the soundboard so that you can do the sounds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> pew, 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 pew. <laughs> but not- the fucking best is our fucking exit. 
Oh yeah. Uh, getting her queued don't, up. Okay, don't. Okay, don't do it yet. Yeah, because we're like. All right. I'm, I'm sure there's nobody listening anymore, but I don't give a shit. All right, she's ready for you. Okay, so Eric, love you, brother. Wish you guys the best. You guys have a good Christmas. I'm sure I'll talk to you before then. And we'll figure out when the next episode is going to happen. So, Sounds good, brother. Love you, too. Uh, right. I'm going to get over this thing so I can become super immune. And then yes. we'll, uh, I want you this. to wear a fucking, like a green man outfit that says super immunity. Like, I'm going like to. Like the fucking green bastard from, uh, gonna... uh, yeah, I want you to look like the green bastard. I'm going to. From uh... Trailer Park Boys. I'm going to, I'm going to put a, I'm going to put a super immune shirt together okay. after this. Cause right. I know, right. I know that's going to sell at some point. And, and I'll wear a shirt that's less offensive to you and more offensive to everybody else. Okay. Yeah. Cause like I said, if we become not friends this week, you'll know why. Can I just throw a shout out that my shop lights didn't go off? Cause I got a fan down there with a towel. I clipped that's uh, flapping. Sh- Okay. So I talked about that really at the beginning. <laughs> we'll at the talk beginning about of the show. Because it actually worked. It worked. So we'll talk, we'll, yeah, we'll talk about the next <laughs> right, right on, man. Yeah. Well, it's been a good week. We'll talk to you soon. Love you, brother. Love you, too. And now, here we go. This ball game is over.